Hi, and welcome to Bootstrap School. We're going to talk about adding Mailgun to WordPress to fix those annoying non-deliverable transactional emails. So Mailgun takes over your WordPress PHP style delivery and uses its own API and it's free and you get up to 10,000 emails free every month. So you can actually run a number of domains on here. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. We're going to first, we're going to add Mailgun and our account to Mailgun. We're going to add a plugin to our dashboard in WordPress and we're going to actually configure the DNS based on our Mailgun settings. So let's jump right in. Log into Mailgun. And if you're, let's back up one. If you haven't already gotten Mailgun, sign up. They'll ask you for a credit card, um, which is optional. It's a beautiful thing. So just log in. And then at the top, depending on where you go, when you first start out, they'll probably bring you right to adding a new domain. So we're going to do that right now. So what they're asking for here is your subdomain that your WordPress mail is going to be handled on. You can do MG for Mailgun. I typically typically just put mail one dot then whatever. So mail one dot bootstrap dot school since bootstrap.school is my full domain name. Here's the subdomain I'm going to be using exclusively for WordPress. Add the domain. Now, here's what it's showing you that we're going to need to add to our DNS of our domain. So I'm in my GoDaddy domain manager. Um, at the full management of Bootstrap School, and we're going to add a few DNS records. So just a brief review, A records are your main website, MX records are your main webmail, and then there's a few different other things, NS is name server. We're going to add TXT for text for some validation that Mailgun needs. We're going to add a MX record for our new subdomain. And then we're also going to add a C name again for some uh, back end stuff that Mailgun needs. So Mailgun is beautiful because it gives you everything you need. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two text records. So type TXT, host name, and then the value. So on GoDaddy, at least, you don't need the entire host name. You just need the subdomain that you're going to be using. So what we're going to do now is copy this value. And then now I'm going to go over. I'm going to add what type I'm going to add TXT, the host, mail1, the value, and then the time to live. We're just going to leave it default. Hit save. And now we got our first one down. Let's go back. Get the next one. This is KRS domain key. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to add another record. Again, it's going to be TXT host. And then let's go back and get the value now. It's a big long one. I'm going to start at the end here. Copy that and paste that entire value in there and hit save. Okay, moving on down. MX records. So unless you've already have an MX record for mail one, which we don't. Okay. Since we don't, we're going to go ahead and follow these instructions right here. So it's going to add the mail server to our MX for mail one. So we're going to go MX priority 10. So let's look at how that works over at GoDaddy. Select what kind of record. It's going to be an MX record. The host is going to be mail one. Okay, priority, uh, sorry, points two, MXA at mailgun. Priority is going to be 10. And time to live, we're going to leave set as is. Now we're going to do this one more time, do the exact same thing. Okay, mail one, points two, and it's MXB. All right, 
at mailgun.org priority 10. Let's save that check our work mx10 yep there we go now the final thing we're going to do on the dns side is add a c name and this is for tracking opens clicks now this is if we were going to be doing mail list stuff which i really don't recommend but we're going to go ahead and add this anyway just because it helps in the authentication so email.mail1 in mailgun org it's going to be a c name so let's add that one last record select c name the host email one points to mail gun dot org time to lie we'll set for the default and there's our records right here we've added two txt records two mx records and a c name all pointing to mail one or a variation of that uh, except right there let's just double check that last txt yeah oh i did screw up look at that look at that it needs to be all of that my bad go back here edit that and there we go there's what we needed that would have taken an hour to figure out all right so there we go and we're done with our domain records now what we can do is continue on to the domain overview and nothing's verified yet so what we want to do is check DNA and it's telling you right here you haven't set it all up well we have just haven't checked it yet so let's go ahead and check it now check DNX records now Okay, that one I blew is not showing up. So let's go back and see why. Okay. Check it one more time. Oh, okay. It just needs a little bit of time to propagate. Since I did it last, it took a little bit longer. Okay, so when that disappears, you are good to go. So we're going to leave this page open and we're going to use the domain name here and the API key here. All right. So let's copy the domain name, go over to plugins, and we're going to add a new plugin called Mailgun. Whoops, Mailgen. And it should be the first one that pops up. We'll see. Buy Mailgun, yes. Install now, yes. Now we're going to activate that. Once we activate, we can go down. We can either get to it from the settings here or the settings on our side panel. So just click on Mailgun and it'll bring us to the settings page. So here's the Mailgun domain name, the one we already set up ourselves. That's Mail1. Now the API key is this thing right here, which I'm going to blur out so you can't see it. Get your own daggone API key. <laughs> okay. Click tracking. Nah, I'm not going to bother with that open tracking nah I'm not gonna bother with that now the from address let's go ahead and put this as WordPress at mail one dot um, bootstrap okay that's the from address okay I'm including the mail one subdomain you don't have to I don't believe but, and I'm just going to put bootstrap. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put provost in that. Now, override the from detail. If enabled, all mail being sent with above from name, from blah, 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 regardless of any other plugins, I will leave this to no. I don't want to override what my contact form 7 has already set up. So I'm going to set that to no. And... Bob is your uncle. Save first. We can now 
test the configuration. So we're testing, testing, one, two, three, and we get a mailgun HTTP API test success status success. That's a great, great thing. So now let's go back over to mailgun and I'm going to click on the account we were just at. Actually, I'm going to go to logs. And here's my first two rejected. Sometimes they need to test the uh, business verification. I sent an email, followed the directions. I got accepted within 10 minutes. And so the beautiful thing is here is where is the fact that you can track the email. So I was accepted, mail, plugin, test, test, server response. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test. So we have four loaded up here, temporary fails, and then greens delivered. So let's go, and you can see the number here. Okay, one was delivered. So now let's go over to our contact us form, and let's double check and make sure that's all copacetic. Go down to the bottom, contact us form. And let's go ahead and fill this out. Uh, and testing one, two, three. Hello, Perry. I am not a robot. That's always important to check that out. And click send. Thank you for your message. It has been sent. Well, has it really? If you don't use Mailgun, chances are if your client is on a Gmail service, that email is not going to get through. But we can double check because we have Mailgun. And so we're going to check the logs again. And there we go. So it was accepted by the postmaster and then delivered, okay? And if you can check it out here, serve response 250 okay, that means it was indeed delivered. Status delivered. So if I go over to my perrylawrence at gmail.com, it will be sitting in my inbox. So that's it. That's how you integrate Mailgun with your WordPress site so you can ensure that transactional emails get delivered on time and securely. My name's Perry. Thanks for watching. This has been Bootstrap School.